Hey guys, this is Lior with Angle of Volkers, and this is my weekly Boston business and real estate news show. So for this week, uh, a new, brand new news just came out of Charlestown, where I'm at right now. This is the Charlestown Naval Yard. You can see the oceans right behind me. And the Boston and the National Parks of Boston, uh, they just uh, announced that they secured $3 million in federal funding to redevelop one of a huge warehouse in the Charlestown Naval Yard. It's going to be a huge museum and visitor center, um, you know, and so look for, you know, there's going to be a lot of development here. And actually what's interesting about it is they actually, the, the National Parks of Boston owns 30 other, acre, 30, 30 other acres in this area in Charlestown where they're looking for proposals to redevelop in uh, hotels, housing and retail facilities, including restaurants and medical facilities. So keep, if you haven't heard of Charlestown and it's not on your map, put Charlestown on your map because there's a lot of redevelopment happening here. Um, it's right next to Boston. There's a lot of money being put in here. So put that on your map. All right, and for our second piece of uh, business news this week, I thought I'd do a little spotlight on a local business that you probably have a lot of experience with, but you never really think about. So this week, there was an awesome article in The Globe about the life of a lobster salesperson. And, oh my God, I mean, this guy basically brokers the transaction, the sale of lobster between fishermen and hotel restaurant, hotels, restaurants, supermarkets, and all that good stuff. And obviously he makes his money by, you know, he buys low, sells high, right? So he buys the lobster for a certain price and then tries to market up and sell it to the hotels and restaurants. But talk about a stressful job because your pro when your product, okay, the lobster, is essentially going to die by the end of the day if you don't sell it. So I, I thought I had a stressful job. I'm sure you have a stressful job. But when your product is sitting in your car and if you don't sell it that day, it's gone, that's a tough one. So hopefully that's... That hopefully that's pretty cool. Um, that's all I got for you this week, and uh, we'll catch you guys for more business news around Boston next week.